my homily for the second Sunday of Lent, the 5th of March, 2023. Our readings today begin with Abram, later Abraham. Change of name signifies change of direction, as he gave up everything he held dear to follow God, and he was blessed. As a response to our psalm says, May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Abram trusted and then experienced the love of God. But at times he must have wondered if he had done the right thing. He showed that quality required of all believers, perseverance. We can't give up when trials come. We have to keep going. Bear the hardships for the sake of the good news, relying on the power of God, as St. Paul says. God knows we need encouragement. We need comforts and consolations or we can be overwhelmed. God blessed Peter, James and John with a vision of Jesus in glory, supported by Moses and Elijah, the two great figures of the Old Testament, and with the words of God the Father, no less, proclaiming him as his beloved son and telling them to listen to him. What an endorsement. The previous chapters of Matthew's Gospel have given us the first prediction of Jesus' passion. The transfiguration softens that somewhat. Yes, there will be suffering and death, but it will not be the end. It is only a means to an end. Resurrection and salvation will follow, so hang on in there. We need to keep in mind God's blessings so that we can get through the trials that inevitably come. How has God blessed you? Think about it. I think of my family and friends, living and dead and all the blessed times I shared with them. I think of the people I have met, particularly since I have became a priest, and how my life has been enriched by them. In St. Catherine's School, we have what we call big questions, during which the class can ask me anything within reason. One question that often comes up is, do I miss not having a wife and family? I do think about that, and think it would be good to have a wife and family. They bring many blessings, don't they? But there is another side to that. I have the freedom to move around and to be a full part of different parish communities, and I've been truly blessed by that. I have said many times that we cannot outdo God in generosity. If we give, we will receive in abundance, and I have certainly received a great deal from God.